Well, welcome to The Journey. My name is Kevin Polkey, and I am the host of The Journey. And uh, today we are going to have on our continuation of our reflecting on gratitude, um, we are going to have uh, another reflection. And in this particular time, um, I was just recently um, somewhere in our house and I saw a picture that my wife had uh, put up. And on the picture, um, or the painting, I guess, there was uh, a beginning of a quote that said, be still. And that particular um, quote, be still, comes from uh, the Old Testament of Psalms 46, verse 10. And I reflected on that I'd seen this in our house numerous times. It's uh, one of my favorite, um, one of Delinda, my sister-in-law's favorite uh, verse. Uh, both her and Diane have it tattooed on their arms. Um, and as I was reflecting on um, this phrase, be still, the second part of that um, that quote is be still and know that I am God, that I will be exalted among the nations and I will be exalted in the earth. At this particular passage, as I went and looked at it, it is about the author who is struggling with um or at least my take on it, that the author was struggling with feeling persecuted and feeling that the enemies, uh, the people who were against him, were, uh, were knocking on his door. And that this idea or reminder, at least how I translate it, is that in the midst of the author's struggling and fear is that he was reminded of slow down, be still, quiet your thinking, and remind yourself that God is on your side. And I think of, for me, that in the midst of feeling uh, that something is threatening me, uh, usually it's mental or emotional, uh, that uh, my initial response to that, of, of trying to uh, survive that, trying to overcome that, trying to cope with that, um, is, is my thinking of what does Kevin need to do? What do I need to do to be able to protect myself or guard myself or how to persevere through this peace? And that if I could quiet myself, slow everything down, be still, and reflect on that I don't have to go this ordeal or obstacle alone, that in the midst of being still and quieting myself, that I can see things from a broader perspective, a bigger picture of what may be going on than just what's happening in the moment. And that when I can do that, I can see more options. I can see different ways of, of coping with whatever the problem may be or whatever the obstacle or setback is. For me, when I do this, when I slow myself down, pause when feeling threatened, to be still and remind myself that I'm not alone, that God is with me, then I can... Uh, possibly see how to navigate through or maybe just pause and let some of the dust settle. This is something that I can definitely be grateful for 
when I pause to be still and know that I'm not alone, even when I feel like the weight of the obstacle is at its heaviest. So what I would invite you each to do is practice that being still and knowing that God, as you understand him, is available. Probably not when the mind is racing that you're going to be able to access God. Not that God's gone anywhere, but your ability to access, access God is probably going to be limited because of the mind racing. As always, I appreciate uh, you being here and, and listening and passing this on to anyone that you know that may benefit as well. And uh, look forward to being with you next week.